Welcome back guys to Fire Emblem and my name is Shadow Magic Carp and we are going to chapter 11 taking leave one year later one dragon fought man in a war called the Subcursion. Mankind vanquished the dragons thanks to the efforts of eight heroes these eight mighty generals brought peace to Alan the continent was divided into nations and people enjoyed an easy prosperity. The hero Hartmut settled in the east and found Burn, famed for his mentally mind. Saint Emmeline moved west and his sacred name flourished among the accents of Akrutia. The host Mantnan and Legacy lived on with the nomads and of his beloved plains of Sake, the birthplace of King Knight Beringham is now home to the renowned Knights of Ilia, the Berserker Dar Durbans. Final glory was to create a warrior's clan in the Eastern Isles. The Archsage Artos is said to have retired to the barren wasteland of Nabata. The heirs of the champion of Lowland themselves became lords of the Legion League. Whoa! Elibert has enjoyed a peace that spans 980 years. Much longer can this peace stand before its foundations begin to crumble. Pere. Deep within the Lycian League lies Pere, a land that has known no conflict for many generations, but which now finds itself touched by a shadow of unease. His beloved and benevolent ruler, Lord Albert, has mysteriously vanished, as the number of his sworn men loyal knights to serve at his side. A month has passed without a word from the Marcus. Rumors of his death abound. However, the Marcus son believes his father lives and is about to find him. Marcus Paris' son, Elwood, a red haired youth, will one day become the finest knight of all Elysia. His long journey begins here. Chapter 11 Taking Leave. Lord Elliwood, we leave our ward. I see, thank you, Marcus. Ooh. Mother, it's time for us to go. Elliwood promised that you will return me safely. I'm worried about your father, but if anything were to happen to you, my heart could not bear that sorrow. I know, Mother. Please do not worry. Father is alive, I know it. I vow that I will find him and return him to your side. I have your word then. Yes, of course. Isadora, I trust my mother to you in my aspect. Yes, my lord. I will guard over her. Well. Mother, I will return. Rest easy. Well, Marcus, it looks like it's just the two of us. Not so, my lord. My man Lowen will be traveling with us. Lowen? That's reassuring. I've sent him a man to the village. He hopes to seek out a few able men who are skilled at arms. Normally I wouldn't venture forth without a large company, but I vowed your will on his matter, Lord Elliwood. I'm sorry, Marcus, but I would rather not deprive my mother of a single guard. The best knights in the realm disappear with my father. If any what happened to my mother while I was gone, I understand, my lord. Ugh. What's keeping her one? I've heard all the knights in Perry have vanished. What a misfortune and my good luck. I have an announcement to make. As of now, this village is mine. Gosney is my lunalin ledge. Now bring me every last piece of gold down to the smallest fleck. Lord Elliwood, Commander Marcus, I 
No one, calm yourself. A knight must be at control of all moments. The village is under attack. It's bandits. What bandits? Here. I show them one. This skull has more details. My lord Eliwood, I am the daughter of the village messages. My name is Rebecca. The bandits came without warning. They are stealing everything. I beg of you. Please help you. Bill, please help us. I see. Michael, slow and we must aid the village. Yes, my lord. Rebecca, stay here and keep out of sight. If, you pl if it please you, my lord, I would rather fight. I hunt almost every day and I have some skill with a bow. Is that so? Very well, but be careful. Yes, my lord. Uh, lord Elliwood, more of a thing. There is another village who has offered to help. A traveling tactician who is staying in the inn. A tactician? Yes, my lord. This is Shiny. Yay, I'm here! Shiny. Do you know this person, my lord? Yes, I met Shining during the trouble in Kaelin last year. A fanatic military advisor, if my memory serves. If not for Shiny, the Marcus of Kaelin and his granddaughter, Lynn might enough survive Bloodgrand's uprising. <clears throat> what brings you to Faray, my friend? Things? Ah, still traveling about honor owning your skills, of course. What a worthy pursuit. Let's give thanks to Providence for our chance reunion. We need your aid, lend us your skill. Ooh. So. Ooh, he has a rapier. Rainbow. Marcus. Ooh. So he's not giving us too much trouble. Uh, oh, not that. And you can do it, but you could not do it. Okay. And to save time and actually get to that village without any harming I'm going to do that Ooh. Look Dorcas, can you believe it? Just like that knight said, that's old Wellywood So it seems, what is he doing? Hey, he's taking on these bandits, protecting innocence that's a right lordly thing to do, isn't it? Right, Dorcas. You talk too much. So we have two more. Dorcas and Bartry. Ooh. He has an energy ring. That's quite good. Since when does it he have steel axe? They have horrible aim. Dragon shield. I stay here. So you go here. You go here, you attack her, you attack him, you go here, and you finish him. And you go here, my friend. You uh, can I sell this thing? Uh, 
Only her has. Oh, not that bad. And you are done. You are done. And you are done as well. <clears throat> How much does the Ooh. Let's trade. Whoa, oh, no 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 no. No. I want you to see how much those and buy some vonalies. What about these? Nothing. You go here since we That was a good strike. Why are you so... That was a really big fighting. So, why don't you use it? <coughs> that was not supposed to happen. And you... Don't have any... Long range. And I would like to level up a little bit of you because you are so low. Right. Oh! Okay. Let's just wait and give a reinforce in any case. So. And you're a level too large now. And you're a level 3 lord already. And says. <clears throat> ah, you would be Lord Elwood, yes? Our deepest thanks for coming to aid on our fair village. I think nothing of it. It is the Lord duty to protect his citizenry. That would that be were true, my lord. The good folk of Lahus know no such protection. Their marquis Lord Dr Darin is too busy preparing for war. He ignores all complaints of bandits and thieves. Preparing for war? Are you sure? I would not lie, my lord. My brother lived in Laos until a few days ago. His home was torched, and he had no choice but to flee here. According to him, Laos could go to war in any day now. What the people of Laos are thinking about? Lord Elwood, if this is true, the situation is a grave one. If Marcus Laos is ready for war, <laughs> His target is most likely in Adalitian territory. Perhaps disconnected to Lord Elbust's disappearance. My father in Marcus Lahus seems a tenuous connection, but it's as good as to start as any. 
That is traveled to Lahoo, so we must learn more. Thank you for your guidance, Shiny. <laughs> Where are you bound to for next? If you have no destination in mind, perhaps you could travel with us. Hey, we would be stronger with your company. Yay, I will travel with you, yes. I pray we give you no cause to regret your decision. Rebecca, what do you think you're going, young lady? I intend to not be ridiculous, girl. Lord Hollywood is not going on a picnic. He's riding into danger. I know that, father. That's why I want to go. We owed him your lives. And I want to repay him. My bow may not be as dull as must you, but I know I can be of service. But, and father, I may meet up with my brother somewhere. Oh, the Magistrate, you have responsibilities. This is all I can offer. I need to do this. Please, Father, let me go. Dear me! You're, you're just as stubborn as your mother was. I'm sorry, son. You must bow to Elio's wishes on this matter. If he consents, you may go. Thank you, Father. Lord Albert has been always kind to us. Follow his son with a true heart, Becca. Serve Hollywood well, and as I serve his father, I will, father. And that's the end of chapter eleven. Taking leave, and I'll see you guys next time for chapter twelve. So my name has been Chai Magikarp, and this was Fire Emblem. I'll see you guys soon enough. Bye-bye. See you soon.